Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. Today, we're at SculptCAD in downtown Dallas. I have brought John here today to get his head scanned. Welcome Ready? to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by... Lynda.com. It's okay, John. Don't worry, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. <sighs> hey guys, <laughs> guess what? They let us loose here and we are going to play with all their toys. Oh yeah, they have so many 3D scanners and printers here, it's insane. And they are ginormous. We are not talking about just like little MakerBots, although they have those. Look, here's a little <laughs> tiny. And they have a MakerBot. There's a little MakerBot replicator too, but that is not all. That's oh, like. Oh no, look at over here. That's chump change. Look, there's this Stratasys Object 30. This one actually prints like dental device uh, implants or, molds or I heard you can make a jelly donut I too. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and, and this, this one, is the refrigerator. I no, mean, no, this no, is the this Portis isn't. 250MC from Stratasys as well. It is refrigerator sized. It is. It's, it's taller than me. So I heard that this thing, the inside of the chamber gets up to 300 degrees. Ooh, that's hot. And they bake Ooh, all kinds of goodies of hot, in there. Look over here. Oh no, this is a big boy. Look this, at this one is the incredible. The Connex 500. Connex. Con the is it Connex? doing anything? Oh no, it's not. Look, I'm gonna Ooh. open it. Are you supposed to, are you allowed to touch that? Not really, they never let me touch anything. But look at that. This is actually the print uh, platform. The table. And the head here moves back and forth, back and forth, and the table goes down as it's printing on it. And if you open this up, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. This is the material. It comes in these big buckets and you just grab a hold of this and yank it out and stick it in there and it fills it up with all kinds of material. So what's pretty cool about these machines is uh, unlike the smaller, more consumer grade oh, yeah. machines, uh, these can print things that would otherwise require support. So if you had an object that was hollow and you tried to print it on one of those, it would kind of crumble. Right. But here... Like a skull, for instance. Yeah. That, that's one of the things they showed us that they were doing. Oh, in fact, here's one right here. Oh, yeah. So, so this... in here, so uh, SculptCAD and MedCAD kind of work together doing different... Um, different pieces so they do a lot of technology I mean sorry they do a lot of medical scans yeah and this is printing. this is a skull but it's printed inside of support kind of material so the plastic part here is actually what will will, will end up being the finished printed part but so that when it was being printed uh, it had support it, it comes with this stuff which and this you stuff just, is really cool you just break it away see how it, it just crumbles like it feels a uh, gooey. Gooey, yeah. It's gooey and chalky. And anyway, it you just away. you just clear that stuff off. Now we're making a big, huge <laughs> mess here. But uh, you print it, uh, so that's how that's how it can print things that you wouldn't and be able to print here, with the little look, baby ones. They have like. Oh yeah. Prosthetic arms. Yeah. They this do. is how you learn how to do IVs. Yeah, that creeps me so out. So there's that, which I guess you got to Those are right inside your arms, that. right there. You just, <laughs> right. you just, pull, just those out, right? pull those out. That's and how that's what makes your arm go like this. You can practice uh, poking Ugh, people. Put that down. I don't want to <laughs> think about that. Anyway. Well, that's... we're here for a very special reason. Yeah. And that is, again, to get John's head scanned. Uh, and they're gonna do something a little special with it afterwards. Oh brother, here we go. <laughs> okay guys, it's time for head scanning. I know, like some kind of freaky movie where something's gonna pop out of your head. No, not that. We're gonna actually get our heads 3D scanned and Nick is the man who's gonna do it. He's the engineer in with the plan. Extraordinaire. Okay, so I guess, I, I don't know, be. time to scan the old heads? That's what we do. Yeah, Nick, okay. So, all right, walk us through this process. First of all, you have something very intimidating I looking in bit. your hands. I'm, it looks like it came out of Men in Black. Just a touch. <laughs> so, what I've got here is a Creoform white light 3D scanner. The way this guy works is it's going to project a pattern 
with this little lens here. Okay. And the way that pattern deforms against you is going to show it how you're shaped. Okay. So by default, it's gonna to scan to about two millimeters of accuracy, but we're actually gonna go through with a little bit of fancy math and tone that up to maybe a millimeter or even half a millimeter. Wow, so you're gonna see like every little detail of my face. Every single wrinkle. You don't want that. You don't want <laughs> what about my glasses? Today I'm wearing my funky Bono kind of glasses by, uh, who are the Gunner, these are my Gunners. These are especially like Those special are pretty glasses. fancy. Oh, I will funky. say, for the purposes of the scan, we probably take want to them take off? them off, unless Good. you want us to spray them, and then they'll look opaque white. No, no, really that's fun. all right. But then you, all can't, right. See but then you yeah. can't see out of them Sweet. anymore. Sweet. <laughs> and then, yeah, okay, cool. So, Plus, I'm sure the ladies want to see my beautiful blue eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, get out of my face. All right. Okay, is this going to hurt? It is not going to hurt. Am I going to get, I, do I need some suntan lotion no, or something? No, no, okay. no. I've right. only roasted, <laughs> why does that? I've only roasted maybe one or two interns doing this. It'll be totally okay. fine. <laughs> so, what I'm going to ask you to do, lean back. Okay. As comfortable as you can be. Nice and calm, very zen. A little bit of meditation. <laughs> eyes closed. We're going to put a bag over my head or anything like that? Not. Probably make the skin yeah. more attractive. Well, it depends on how it goes. Again, why eyes closed? Because a laser in my eyes? Well, kind of it's thing? not a laser. It's oh, okay. really just a bright light. And okay. nobody really wants that flash at their eyes. That's true. Okay. Hit me with it. All right. So, <laughs> nice and still. Ready to go? Yeah. And there we are. And already, it's starting to capture. Everywhere you see cyan on the screen is data that it is currently capturing. So each flash of this pattern is picking up probably about a million points. It's not necessarily using all of them because it does some really clever work algorithmically to determine what's important and what isn't. But, uh, it wants just as much as it can, and I think that's just about everything we can get. Wow, that's it? Real quick process, only takes about 30 seconds. Okay. There are a whole wide variety of 3D scanners, and this one's best feature is speed. Wow. So, right now you can see you look a little bit messy. Each individual point that you're looking at here is actually an individual point that got scanned. Each little square represents a single particular point in space. You know, if you took algebra way back when, x, yeah. y, this one has a z as well, but it's exactly that. So I'm gonna tell the machine that I'm done. Is there a reason why some of it's purple and some of it's kind of teal? It's just reminding me what I did last. Oh, gotcha. Just in case I wanna come back Oh, and there it. it is. And now it's done some quick processing, smoothed things up a little bit, and there you are. So now you've got this, that, what, I mean, now that you've got that, let's say uh, somebody has to go in and kind of clean it up because, yeah. like, there's holes where the ears would be there and where certainly the nose, are. and you'd have to go in and just kind of connect the connect yeah. the sheets, if you will. And again, we've got some real fancy software. I'd be happy to show it to you if you like. Sweet. Uh, where even with these scans, where we'll clean it up, get it looking nice and pretty, and be ready to move on to the next step. Nice. Is it Cali's turn? Yeehaw. <laughs> Okay, cool. So uh, you got, that's Callie's face you got. It is. I got both of them here. Okay. But I'm just going to start with Callie's real okay. quick. So what we're going to do is clean the scan data up. Scans by default come out with a whole lot of extraneous information that we don't necessarily need. And our scanner does a good job of cleaning up some of it, but not all of it. So I'm going to turn this from kind of wholly and right yeah, now she's got no chin no chin <laughs> she's two-dimensional right now very flat so we're going to give her some depth we're going to give her just as much uh real definition as we can to be so, honest it seems like that would be hard like for example where she has no chin it seems like that would be hard oh, to do to oh, make that come together and not just be like a flat piece or Bam. something what <laughs> and that it's gone. is crazy Wow. I did a little bit of setup during the scan. See? You can see just barely I a, where it is. I have is. a little scar there. You yeah. can see that scar. Where? Right there, right chin. there, see? Oh, the scar on your, that yeah. right there? That's from a bike yeah. a riding accident when I was a kid. <laughs> wow, that is pretty accurate. And this is, it, it isn't even the most accurate we can get to. This huh. is about midway. So 
filling in holes like that, as long as I, I'll admit for this one, I kind of prepared a little bit and made sure that the holes that I left would be nice and easy to fill. But I'm just gonna hit fill all right there. It's gonna pick everything that looks like a reasonable hole. And there they go. And it just fills them in. And now it's kind of hard to tell where they were in some cases. Now we still got the problem that two dimensional. So in order to make her 3D and something we can work with in a little bit more detail. What are you doing there, trimming that little? Yeah, just, just little tags, little yeah. things that I don't need. I'm going to trim these off real fast and just delete those out. And now the scan of your neck came out very nicely, but we don't need most of it. So I'm just going to do that. You're now headless. You are now <laughs> necklace. You're necklace. You, you are literally neckless. And then let's do. And this is a little bit messy, so we'll her, fix that. In a yeah, second. where her hair was fall, uh, you can see coming down over her face, kind of looks weird. It tried to fill it in, and it tried to get it, but there is a little bit of mess to it. Yeah, I'm actually going to do something a little bit fancier here. I don't have to fill an entire hole. I can say, from here to there, fill that in. And oh wow! It's got some. So that is actually pretty close to ideal. But you gonna, know, is that, my hair? that is your hair. We should have left. We should have pulled your <laughs> hair back when we scanned I it. it. Was. But it gives us a. Uh, the reason it's not so bad is it gives us a little something to start from, so we can model it to look nice. So I'm going to go over here. But can you make it look like she has a back of her head that has hair on it? I can. Well, oh. I can't. But somebody can. Somebody could. <laughs> And real quick, we're just gonna, ah, that went too far. So, yeah, did not do that. So, what we're going to do is clean up every weird little area. So, if you see, there are little yellow and orangish areas here. Those are self intersections, areas of basically impossible geometry. Sweet. Yeah. So, I want it to fix all of those for me. So, I'm just going to hit do that. And in theory, it will clean everything up. By the way, uh, how powerful is the computer you're using uh, for this? It's high end, but not amazing. Okay, this is, I mean, like a pretty decent computer, but yeah. not, you don't have any like hundred thousand dollar machine here no. under the table that we're not. Just a, a nice sort of high end machine, sort of the the kind of thing you might do Photoshop on. Okay. There's now one little area left, and I'll tell it fix that again, and it should take care of it. And there we go. Now, no nasty weird little chewy yellow bits there. She's just a Smurf. Exactly. So, she's blue. <laughs> now, I'm going to shell. So, shelling is basically an operation where I'm going to offset the whole thing and then make them a solid body. So, first, I want to tell it which side is in and which is out. Okay. For the purposes of the shell, the outside of your face is actually the inside. So, I never remember what this command is. There it is. Flip normals. Now you're yellow instead of blue. And that kind of highlights some of the weird things we could do. I just said the inside of your face was the outside. Whoa, what the heck? And that now is... you can see it's a really weird thing because digitally there's functionally no difference between the inside and the outside. Yeah. Wow. That is creepy. So I'm going to say shell. Let's say you're three millimeters and it can be smooth on the inside. Now you have a candy coated orange shell. Oh, red, your favorite color. Ah. Lobster red. And now, rather than being a two-dimensional shape, oops, could you, you print a life-size version of that just like that? Sure. Basically, this is now a mask of you that will fit on you. <laughs> wow, yeah, you're right. <laughs> With a little you bit of work. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. With a little bit of work, this interior could be changed to fit just about anything. I'm going to use this basically as a mask so Heather can apply it to an actual form, but for our purposes, that's a real quick version of how we just turned a really quick two-dimensional 3D scan into a 3D form. That is cool. Okay, now that my head has been prepared, 
it is now over here on this computer and Heather is going to what? You're going to put my head on a on a body. On a new body. <laughs> so, it's kind of a, a generic I'm going to have a new body. A generic So you found you found like different bodies from I think this a, came a, from Thingiverse. So we okay. just wanted to find some some bodies that we could then place your head right. on. So and when you brought my head in you had to shrink it because I scaled it down to size because this is the size of an action figure. It's about uh, seven inches tall at this point. Seven inches. So I scaled your head down to about 14%. Um, and and so that's a king. It's a king. But, but we'll, uh, we'll we figure can, out what to do with that later. We can take his head off. <laughs> and we can... Off with the king's head. Basically put your head in, its, in place. <laughs> and it looks like it's still just a little bit big. Okay. So what I'll do is scale it down maybe another uh, 5%. Done. So this is the final stage before we go to print? Um, yeah, and this, and this can take as long or as short as you want. You, know, you, can, you can mess around with this, you can create different hairdos, you can... Uh, yeah, so David is, was suggesting earlier I should go with the Farrah Fawcett. Uh, we could do something head, like that. <laughs> Well, um, now the head doesn't, if you're going to add hair, the head doesn't really matter all that much, right? No, but you want to, you need a base. I mean, well, sure. You need you a base wanna, to work from. I don't um, want to look like cone heads. Yeah, you just need a base. You need something to put your hair on. I mean, on. I do. That's what I was planning on going as Halloween, but. Um. <laughs> and so that's clearly not going to work. But what we do then is I can mirror the side I want to keep. Oh, nice. Okay. And so I just put a plane in. <laughs> don't want that. I so don't we'll know. What do you guys it. think? I like it. Like from I don't feel like with that stance of the body, I should have smiled. So yeah. I'm rethinking the whole smiling. But that's okay. Well, we can put your we can put your head on a different body. <laughs> oh no, I like this body. Uh, I look very uh, important. <laughs> we have our king head, so I can actually take the king head. I can take what I want from. You see my him. nose under his. I'm just selecting basically okay. what I want from him. I'll leave his beard. <laughs> I don't think I would look very good with a beard. Yeah. Maybe I should do a Google Plus post. Beard oh, or no beard? Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Like a Shrek. That's amazing. <laughs> Princess Fiona. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So that's it. And then that I would combine hilarious. I'd combine the pieces together and basically smooth out all the, the edges and where the pieces overlap. Okay. And, and it'll be time to print. Yep. And then I'll make sure that the piece is a oh, solid yeah. piece. Uh, I'll fill in any voids that are there okay. and then it's time to print. Very cool. You know what's amazing? She has been editing in that software for 14 years it's incredible that's a lot of experience and there is a lot of 3d coolness going on in here if you want to get started to learn 3d animation or even other stuff not having to do with 3d at all you could learn photography videography a business to put those skills to use you can go to lynda.com slash geekbeat and get seven days for free seven days of training on anything? That's awesome. All right, John, the results of the head scan are in. What head scan? John. Uh. <laughs> um, I think it's dementia. <laughs> no. All right, put away the stylus. <laughs> so I'm almost done. She's almost done finishing my model scan. Oh. And next is you. Am I gonna look like him? Well, you will just have to wait to see what you look like. You can find out when he finds out at geeky.tv slash live today at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time, Texas the, uh, time. The big unveiling? The big unveiling. All right, sweet. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed 3D Day. Yes. I don't know what we're calling it, but thumbs up on YouTube. Join us for 3D Palooza tonight. Two thumbs up if you got it. I know that was disconnected. Yeah, that didn't really work for me. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. I'll work on that. So we'll be talking to the various companies who are part of the process, like Pharaoh, who has a big laser scanner.
Are you ready for a strip show? Hell yeah. Wait, get your mind out of the gutter.